The return of MagSafe was probably one of the larger headlines for me at the iPhone 12 event because it opens up a whole new future of accessories for iPhones from both Apple and third-party companies. In fact, Apple had already released a few products alongside the iPhone 12, and we happen to have one of them right here for a brief first look and hands-on with the MagSafe wireless charger. Now, this charger is not very flashy, and this holds true from the packaging all the way to the unboxing, and I wasn't really expecting anything crazy at all, but for those who were wondering, no, Apple did not include a power adapter in the box, and yes, Apple does recommend that you buy a 20-watt wall adapter for this product, as stated right here on the box. With that said, you do get a charger and a pretty decent length cable already pre-attached to the charger. This cable is non-removable, so don't even try to remove it. The charger is made up of mostly aluminum, with the front middle section having a rubber-like feel to it. This charger is expected to charge the iPhone 12 lineup at 15 watts, which is two times faster than the standard 7.5 watts that you get from traditional Qi chargers. The question that I've been getting a lot lately is will this charger work with other phones and products that are not MagSafe? And the answer is actually yes, but with a few limitations. For starters, you're not going to get that super strong magnetic feel that is the entire thing of MagSafe. Now, I'm not exactly sure how strong MagSafe is on the iPhone 12 because, well, we don't actually have our unit yet, but I do have a MagSafe compatible case here from OtterBox. And to be honest, the magnetic strength does not feel all too impressive with just the case and this charger. Of course, I assume that the phone itself will help increase the strength significantly, but if you're looking to see the same force with the case and charger, as we did in Apple's promo video where the wallet looks like it could barely hold itself on the person's hand and that the magnet was so strong, well, that's not going to happen right now. In fact, when examining this case from OtterBox closely, it looks like the MagSafe component lies within this little white cutout. And when I put a dummy unit iPhone 12 inside the case and went ahead to later remove the dummy unit, I noticed that the white MagSafe indicator part here was actually lifting off of the case. It looks like OtterBox just kind of put a small magnet inside this little white cutout and just glued it to the case. I'm curious to see if this is just one different approach from a third party company, or if this is just how it's going to be across the board from products from Apple as well. If I had to guess, I'd imagine the MagSafe case from Apple will be a little bit different and hopefully better. I'm also intrigued to see exactly how the case and the phone will just sort of snap together because in this promo video, again, from Apple that they showed at the event about MagSafe, it sort of gives you that impression that you can easily attach and detach the case using the MagSafe magnets. But with this OtterBox case and the dummy unit, it still very much needs to be attached like a normal case. You kind of have to fit it along the border and then snap everything into place. As far as the MagSafe charger and other products go, yes, this will work with pretty much any device that can charge via standard Qi wireless chargers. So any iPhone that's an iPhone 8 or older will work just fine, as you can see here with my iPhone 11 Pro Max. Now there might be some limitations with charging speeds, and of course it's not going to be aligned and attached magnetically, which is kind of the whole appeal. So there's really no point in buying this over another Qi wireless charger, but if you want to, you can. Now, if you're watching this video and you have an Android device and you're curious about this charger, it will work fine assuming your phone supports Qi wireless charging. This also applies to AirPods and even phones with other cases attached, but unfortunately, this charger does not work with the Apple Watch. It will be interesting to see exactly how strong Apple's first party cases and accessories are with MagSafe integrated into each product, and of course, inside the phone itself, because right now, with just a MagSafe case and charger, it doesn't feel that strong. But again, I'm expecting this to change quite a bit when our iPhone 12 Pro shows up later this week. And if you don't want to miss that video or any other videos that we have in the future, and of course, let me know your thoughts on this MagSafe charger or any MagSafe accessories that you're excited about in the comments down below. This has been Dan with Mac Rumors. Thanks so much for watching, and I hope to see you around in the next video.